hello my alienators welcome back to my channel new subscribers welcome so you guys i started this new programming i don't know what the hell if it's going to work or if it's going to get viewed or not but i just thought to just give it a try and see what happens you know so welcome to wacky wednesday i'm going to do a wacky video for, for you guys which i kind of relate to and i kind of believe it's about cats and i am obsessed with cats and i look like a cat i mean i feel like i look like a cat so but into today's video we're just going to set some rules and we're going to talk about business because that's what i do um so you guys for private reading for private life coaching for uh group coaching all that good stuff go to lyrica.com under services for my products go to lyrica.com and go to the boutique section to be able to purchase my products i have put a lot of my stuff on sale uh to be nice all right to be nice so you guys can afford it because i know the pandemic and people being at a job and you guys are loving me and supporting me and trying to be there for me and i was just like i gotta do a 50 percent off type of thing okay so for all that you guys need just go to the website everything is spelled out okay and um and i have my own private facebook group that i've named ellie because that's what I call you guys I call my viewers alienators and um, just so you know though uh, that my private Facebook group is about me yeah. uh, so I basically put my products on my own private Facebook group because the Facebook group is about me yeah. and um, I give you guys updates about videos or you guys give me video ideas because the Facebook page is about me yeah. <laughs> So, um, just wanted to remind you guys that the Facebook group is literally about me. So, seems that there's a little bit of a misunderstanding about that, okay? Um, anyways, I wanted to do a fun video for you guys. We're going to talk about cats and the theory and the conspiracy of surrounding them. So, having said all that, let's get into today's video. Yeah. You know, guys, I make own noises all the time. Anyways, so let's get into it, you guys. This was really, really interesting. Uh, I posted, uh, this is like really big on, on me, so I'm just going to stick it up here. Look at this, though. I have the necklace version of that, too. It's not dope. So, um, uh, so okay, so let's get into it. All right. So basically, um, ever since I can remember, I've had this weird affinity with ancient Egypt. I don't know, uh, even when I, when I was very, very young and I didn't know about past lives and things like that and I didn't know what the hell all that stuff meant and I didn't know that I was a psychic empath medium. And goddess, I didn't know those things when I was like five or six years old and I used to always be really fascinated with like artifacts and, and anything that had to do with Egypt. Very fascinated by it, loved it and I just felt like as a kid, like ancient Egypt was very extraterrestrial. There's something very like alien about it. Like the pyramids, just I just thought of them as like ships and things like that. Um, and a little backstory: I grew up between the United States and Europe. Uh, my my mom's family is from Turkey, Istanbul, and my dad is from Iran. And we traveled a lot in the Middle East and Europe. And I had our family had an encounter with aliens. Okay, I don't give, give a hell, give a hell if you guys believe me or not, but we had an encounter with goddamn aliens, okay? Uh, so we were driving uh, in the mountains of Istanbul in Turkey. I was, I don't know, seven years old or seven or eight years old. And we were all in the car as a family and we were going up the mountain and I saw, uh, you know, we all saw these like random lights, super, super bright lights that were changing colors, okay? And uh, it was bizarre and my dad stopped the car and we all got out and then my dad was like ahead looking over this cliff. And then all I remember was like, he started running towards us and said, yelling at us to get back in the car and we sped off. Like he was driving like a hundred miles an hour or something like that. So. Um, to this day, he talks about it. He's like, yeah, I saw something. It was super, super bright lights and it was just kind of like descending and coming down. And he was like, I wasn't about to stay there and try to figure out what the hell was going on. So we split. Um, so anyways, I was kind of surrounded with that whole thing. You know, my family was always into like science and technology and, and things like that. And I, I, I did not grow up in, in a, um, 
any religious house at all. So I was kind of like left to figure things out on my own, like whatever you believe in, research and, and study, which was very cool. Uh, everyone in my family are, is, are they're all like doctors and scientists and, and shit like that. So anyways, um, having said all that, I've always always had an affinity with, with, with ancient Egypt. Now in ancient Egypt, as you guys know, uh, they worshipped cats. They worshipped cats. They mummified their cats. And they thought of cats having supernatural abilities, uh, having telepathic abilities. Uh, they worshipped them. I mean, they catered to them, right? And um, they they thought of them as goddesses. And they thought that the goddess they named the goddess Bast, which is a uh, a figure of a woman with the head of a cat. Okay. And in a lot of uh, uh, witchcraft, actually, or in like Wicca or uh, different types of practices in the occults um you can um uh, summon the goddess bast and worship her and she will bring you riches and and wealth and success and power okay um so it is people have people do rituals and things uh to the to the goddess bass all right they have you know they set candles they put milk and honey and um you know they they put gold and things around their altar uh, cool cool stuff okay but the conspiracy behind cats is very fascinating so i want to get into it so we're going to talk about it right now i gotta grab my nose because i'm going to forget uh, I kind of prepared this uh, for today's Wacky Wednesday, honey, so I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And then I'm going to pull some cards on it to see if there's really truth to this, okay? Because, you know, you guys, my cards always tell me the truth, right? So, here we go. So, there's this concept and this theory that basically um, cats are aliens or cats come from aliens and then had cats were placed or shipped to planet earth from the mothership from the alien from another galaxy and that uh you know the the everyone knows this that cats were first domesticated in ancient egypt and they were domesticated and brought into homes and their palaces and fed and slept with them and they were given ornaments and and jewelry and gold to to decorate their cats right so the int so the conspiracy around this is that when apparently cats purr, okay, that is actually them recording human beings, recording us, and then, um, you know, reporting it to the mothership, to another galaxy, okay? So that's one theory. Um, the other theory is that actually cats look like aliens so when you put a gray alien being next to a picture of a cat they literally look like each other and having said that I have to put my hair back to show you guys because I have the same goddamn face structure look at this I have this weird gray alien face ship thing here let's 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 do this I'm gonna put a picture of the gray alien and the cats and we're going to compare do I look like a goddamn gray alien cat yes I do yes I do look at this oh by the way I'm wearing my own goddamn makeup did I even mention this I'm wearing my own goddamn makeup line uh, like I said you guys for my products you can go to elliarcat.com under the boutique and buy my blush and highlighter and my lipstick I'm wearing love potion okay so so apparently the whole mo notion of when cats purr is that they're recording us and that's how they um, spy on us and then they uh, relay the message to mothership in another galaxy, okay? Um, and then I told you guys about that they look like aliens. Oh, I already said all this stuff. Sorry, guys. I'm, just, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm a little slow. Also, the idea that they have nine lives. Now, I don't know if this theory has been sci scientifically proven or not, but the theory behind that is that anytime a cat falls unexpectedly or when they're jumping and they fall even if you are holding them upside down when you throw them they land on their feet something about nine lives now it is said unfortunately the christian religion viewed cats as the like that they were evil that they were devil incarnated likely christians believe that cats were the devil and they were demons and so they were killed by millions and what happened when they did that when christians did that because cats are notoriously for eating rodents and mice and all that 
the population of rodents and mice uh, exploded, having cats being killed by Christians uh, and churches. So what happened was that people became ill and millions and millions and millions of people died because there was no cats to eat them. So the rodents and the mice uh, uh, of illnesses and diseases. So a lot of people died because the cats were not there to eat these rodents. So um, anyways, apparently they also have the ability we don't know if this is true or not. These are not all scientifically proven. It's just myth and conspiracy that they apparently are able to astral travel or travel, they're able to go to different dimensions, okay? They're able to go to different dimensions and also that they are able to see extra dimensional beings. They're able to see entities and demons and spirits because their eyes, they're able to see beings and entities that are not there I know that my puppy does that and I and I grew up with cats and dogs and and horses also have the sixth sense cats have the sixth sense uh, dogs have that sixth sense where they're able to see uh, things and beings because uh, their eyesight is different than ours and they're able to see a lot better in the dark than we do so but also so another conspiracy about cats which is very fascinating and this is actually in this one has actually been scientifically proven and CDC actually talks about it. CDC is the center for, for disease control. So CDC has come out and said that there is a bacteria that the cats produce when they poop in their litter box. And when the humans are cleaning the poop, trust me, my cats used to wait for me to come home from set for after 14 hours and when they would see me come home, mew, 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 I'm so excited, mommy's home, poop, 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 poop. And I'm like, did you guys just poop? Like, you did not poop for 14 hours. You waited for me to come home. Now you pissed and you pooped, and I have to clean it, and now it's hot and it's messy, and I have to wait for it to form and get hard before I can use the, the scoop to get it out, and that used to drive me crazy. But anyways, apparently, cats, release this chemical or this bacteria called toxo toxoplasma or something like that right where when humans go to clean the poop this is something that is the bacteria that's in a cat's intestine and when they poop it when humans are cleaning it it doesn't we don't inhale it and goes into our intestine we inhale it and goes into our goddamn brain so apparently cats mind control us okay so this when this chemical is inhaled in our brain and we are smelling it and inhaling it what happens is that it makes us oh my god i love cats oh my god i need to be around cats oh my god i need to touch a cat oh my god i'm gonna worship my cat oh my god my cat is my more important than my my life partner my friends my job i just need to hold my cat forever and ever and ever that's apparently what this bacteria does. So it's like a, a form of mind control. And apparently in the United States, 30% of humans have this bacteria in their brain and it goes up to 90% in other countries if there's more cats than, than you know stray cats and things like that. So that is absolutely fascinating. So, which kind of explains the fascination our culture has with cats they get millions and millions and millions of views on YouTube cat videos cat memes and all sorts of crazy stuff and I know that everything in my apartment is full of cats if you guys look down there I have, an, I have my Egyptian bast cats right there I have two of them I have a giant painting of it in my bathroom I have them everywhere I wear them I have necklaces I have tons of things so I want to sage myself really quickly and just pull some cards and ask a spirit to see if cats are actually aliens and if cats have the ability to control us and if cats are here to take over the world I know it's silly but you never know. So let's just pull a card on it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you to the goddess of bass. Can you communicate with me right now and answer some questions here? Are cats here to take over the world? Are cats spying on humans and reporting it to the mothership, to the other galaxy? Um, are cats 
do cats come from the alien race and they're here to control us let's see <laughs> we got healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction this does not make any goddamn sense abundance this makes sense abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude bliss if you worship the goddess fast i am here to tell you as a witch if you worship the goddess vast, she will bring you fortune and success and money and beauty and everlasting youth. So get yourself a little statue of goddess Bass and pray to her and worship her and put some milk in front of it and love it and do all the rituals that you have to do to get all the things that you want. Uh, that would be really interesting if you guys do it and see what happens. Maybe that's the challenge of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this was fun. This was our wacky Wednesday video. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe, share, and like. Don't forget I do my live streams Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. The weekends at 10 a.m. Uh, if you guys are interested in private readings and private coaching and group coaching and all that, go to lerkit.com under services. If you're interested in purchasing my products and my makeup line, go lerkit.com under the boutique. And don't forget to send me a friend request to uh, my Facebook group, Elinators. So you got, so I can. That's where I keep everyone up to date. Uh, about the products and uh, everything that I do but don't forget the Facebook is about me okay so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning bye